finally, Ryan, are you? Uh, how, if you look upon the future and the film production, um, you were into that a bit, talking about the, what the technology can enable in the future. But what do you think we'll see more of and less of, in sort of a general level, when it comes to films? Well, you know, I think two 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 trends here. One. It's pretty obvious that when people go to movie theaters, they want big movies. They want, it's an escape. It's action, it's adventure, it's major comedy, it's, uh, you know, broad family films. Um, dramas, people don't want to go to a movie theater to go watch two hours of something that's very real life gut wrenching, you know. Um, and I think that's becoming more and more obvious. Also, those movies don't have a huge commercial audience. Um, you know, they, they, have, they, they have a place in art. And that's what they are, is art. Um, and if you're making them, they're kind of, uh, you know, understanding they're being made for art and their financial benefits are not as big. You know, there's always going to be the breakthrough, but they're not as big. Because people are also making less of those, however, it means that there's an opportunity to, to be in that, that world. And if you can do it well, very few people, that's the hardest market to tap and hardest market to really make if you can do it well there's an opportunity um but it also means that that people are now focusing on these very big commercial and when i say commercial copycat movies you know um i just watched this netflix movie red notice that literally looked like they just rewrote the same script that i've watched 55 times you know it's like every steven seagal movie uh isn't that a big a bit depressing it's very depressing um because I don't even really see the script in there. It feels like they just stuck the actors in and said, do what you normally do. Um, but, uh, you know, <laughs> I think that, that that's a, also a function of the fact that places like Netflix clearly aren't making movies for art. I mean, look at how big Netflix is, how much money they have. And I can't tell you the last time they put a good movie out. <laughs> you know, um, uh, Amazon Prime, same. But they at least went and bought th things like A Quiet Place too. So they recognize, oh, I got to go buy good stuff. Um, Apple, I think, is getting it very right. They've taken a slow approach, but Apple has a lot of really good content on Apple Plus, and they're really focusing on quality and not speed and not size. Um, but I think there is a, a lack of quality right now that hopefully will change. Mm -hmm. We do hope so too. And you know, Ryan, you're so welcome whenever if you want to produce something in Sweden, and particularly in Blekinge, I have to say. I would love to do it, um, and maybe we could sit down and figure out, help figure out an incentive for Sweden to attract a lot more people because I, it's one of the most beautiful places, and obviously I, people love to be there. Well, that sounds great. Welcome any day. Uh, I, I'd suggest another month than November, though. It's quite dark right now. But thank you so much for taking time and joining us from Los Angeles.